Mas. Lihat. So, Dean Brown and the members of the board and faculty members, thank you for inviting me to participate in the honoring of Zakir Hussein. As you heard, this is the 50th anniversary of friendship between Zakir and me. Although it seems as if I've known Zakir all my life, and if reincarnation exists, How we met in this incarnation has an element of humor, which I will share with you. <clears throat> in 1968, I decided to start practicing yoga, changing my diet, trying meditation. I'd become deeply influenced by the Indian traditions on these subjects, and of course, it was notable that I discover Indian music at this time, since it was already being promoted by George Harrison of the Beatles. Thanks to the great pundit Ravi Shankar and his influence on George. However, as a jazz musician, I was more interested in the impact that pundit Raviji had on John Coltrane, who had also become under the influence of Indian music and philosophy. Raviji's influence was such that it is no coincidence that John Coltrane's song was named Ravi. In any event, by the spring of '69. I found a North Indian flute teacher in New York and was on my way learning the fundamentals of North Indian classical music. My teacher was not such a great player, but at least I was learning the theory. I also became friends with Jim, the owner of a music store in Greenwich Village, where he sold sitars, tablas, and other Indian instruments. And one day I was in the store and I asked them if ever an Indian musician visited the store to ask them on my behalf if he or she could give me a lesson in Indian music. A few weeks later, I got a call saying there was someone who would give me a lesson, although since he was a tabla player, the lesson would be vocal. <laughs> I agreed. Fortunately, even though I was nervous, because I am the worst singer I have ever heard. <laughs> and I don't mean maybe. I went to the store and was introduced to Zakir. We found a spot in the store and he proceeded to give me a singing lesson. The lesson was very good. Why don't we sing? And clearly, Zakir was an excellent teacher. He was very discreet about my atrocious singing. <laughs> and even though he sang in tune to call Zakir a singer, it would be bending the truth a little bit. <laughs> but that said, he's a thousand times better than me. At the end of the lesson, we both laughed about the lesson and about our mutual singing. But that we both enjoyed meeting very much, and it was the beginning of a friendship that would change irrevocably my life. We continued to stay in touch until we met again in 1972 in Los Angeles. CBS, my record company at that time, had organized a performance of a number of artists who could choose, bless you, who could choose the recipient of that portion of the charity. I was one of the artists, and I'd chosen the 